clip that she will never forget. And this is a story you'll only see on five. I went to kidney failure. A college student. I had a massive seizure at the hospital. Facing far more than her share of medical challenges. And I was hospitalized in the ICU for eight days. Katie Helm will never forget the day she was diagnosed with a rare disease called IgA nephropathy, a disease the American Kidney Fund says does not have a cure. Like many her age, she goes to classes, goes to work, and posts on TikTok. So but she didn't know one video she posted as a joke would change her life. You have something I want. Enter Savannah Stahlbomber, a stranger from Topeka, a stranger offering up her own kidney through a comment on the video. Katie pushed back at first. There was a possibility her kidney would die in me, and she told me that as long as it bought me a few years off of dialysis, she didn't care, and she wanted to do this. And the two became friends, but Katie still wasn't sure the match would work out perfectly. Until... A surprise moment at a Norman restaurant. And then it was very emotional. Other people were crying too in the restaurant, just watching it. Savannah says she'd seen Katie's TikToks before, but never knew why the algorithm put them in her feed. I really just saw her video was funny. Now she knows it was meant to be. Even the state had a hard time believing her story, doubting whether someone would actually donate to a stranger from TikTok. Just like, he probably thinks I'm nuts. Like, I was cleared, obviously, but he was probably like, what even is this that I'm doing right now? Now Savannah starts nursing school in Kansas in January, and Katie works as a reporter for KGOU Radio in her senior year, and the two say they could not be more grateful for the time spent playing around on TikTok. She just kept popping up, and so I was like, I really can't get to sell